Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. So today we'll be making a game where you have a little plane that flies around and shoots at aliens. So let's get started. Um, so first we want to make a sprite. Um, I prefer bitmap. So bitmap. Um, let's set the size to 5. Um, that's the best pixel size unless you're drawing really small things, but I like drawing um, things that are normal sized. Um, so let's draw a little spaceship and make sure that you draw it so that, oops, um, make sure you draw it so that it's pointing rightwards. Um, As a side note, I think this is a great new bitmap editor if you're familiar with Scratch um, Scratch 2.0. Um, so I'm just going off on a tangent, which actually happens to be my other account. Isn't that funny? I'm I'm funny. Um, so let's start with on flag, um, then go to zero zero in our spaceship sprite. So oh, sorry. Um, so now at the beginning it will go to the middle of the screen and for, for now let's just have it fly around. So let's get a repeat forever function. Um, let's have it um, point towards mouse pointer. So so now it will fly towards your mouse um, and then move however many steps you want it to move. Let's say six. So now we have a little thing that flies around the screen behind our mouse. You may notice this issue. To solve that, we get an if statement, place it after this, and then get a touching mouse pointer program, and then um, have it move negative six steps so that if it's touching the mouse, it will move, or sorry, it will move backwards the same amount of pixels as it's moving forward so it just stops so that way you don't get all that shaky motion um that's all for now on that one let's move to the next sprite this will be our laser sprite um and also as a side note feel free to pause this video at any time because it gets kind of complicated fast so let's just make our laser a line actually um I want this to be a little smaller. I actually want this to be exactly half the size. So make our laser. There we go. Okay. The reason I did that is just because of where it will appear. You don't have to do that exact design. So let's get on flag. Another repeat forever. Inside the repeat forever, we want to make an if state. We, we want an if statement. Um, and then instead for this one instead of touching we want mouse down so if you click the mouse it will do whatever code we put inside of there so I, we want it to make a clone of itself um, and then grab a when I start clone program while we're at it um, sorry I was about to sneeze um, so um, the, the next thing we want to do um, is get a looks program and just say um, on flag, on flag hide, and then in the one I start as clone, we'll start it with a show. Um, so when I start as clone, it will show. Um, actually, before that, we want it to go to sprite one, which is our spaceship, and then um, point in direction. And then if we go into sensing and get the block back number backdrop number of Sage. Um, if we switch stage to Sprite 1, we can find direction, so it will point in the direction. Then get a repeat until function and tell it um, repeat until touching edge, which is under the one that has touching mouse pointer. You just click the drag and drop menu, or not drag and drop menu, the drop down menu, all these words. Um, if touching edge then um, 
we want it to move a lot faster than our spaceship since that one is since our spaceship is moving six pixels this one will move 10 pixels a frame and then at the end of that we want to put a delete this clone so now we can shoot little lasers cool um something i'm going to do both to re reduce lag right now and also later and also just to make it a little more limited make a uh, delay function 0 0.1 seconds makes it shoot this fast and that's not bad for a fire a fire rate but like um it makes it a lot more limited than just like this insane stream so now we want to make an enemy so let's draw our little enemy Let's just make it kind of green colored. The color of this one doesn't really matter, but when I make things that are detectable, I usually like making them precise colors. That's something I do miss about original Scratch. And um, let's make it um, six, size six, and make a little blue eyeball. So this is our completely evil alien. So in the code, um, Let's just send these blocks over to it. So you see, if I drag it, it will go into there. Um, we've had some trouble in my school of having this work on iPad, so um, you might just have to rewrite the code um, or just copy what I'm about to do. So on flag, I want under repeat forever. Get rid of the mouse down and move these up there, and then make this every. So you want to make. Um, the delay how how fast you want aliens to appear i'm going to have mine show up every one second um first uh, and so it'll start by going to a random position and then um let's get rid of this show um and then let's get a repeat forever um point towards um and we want it to point towards sprite one and move maybe two steps so that it's really slow, and now the aliens will chase you. Scary, right? So now we want to make it so that we can shoot the aliens, right? Um, so now we want to get another if statement. Um, if touching color. Oh, and also we just want to. And sorry, I didn't mention this before replace this with a repeat forever um actually put it around this too <laughs> little mistake on my part okay so if touching color and we want to make this red so you can both click on screen by clicking this where and then you can select what color you want on screen but it doesn't let you do it off screen like old scratch so this is the actual color so we'll just leave it at that so now um if the alien gets touched by that color, it will die. Um, so that's a pretty good basic game now. Um, um, so I'm not going to continue with more things, but I suggest adding a score. So maybe you get more points when you defeat more aliens. And also how uh, maybe add like health or something. So if the aliens crash into you, um, you lose some um you lose like a life or something. Um, but um, that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the